Honestly, when the Knicks drafted R.J. Barrett, I was not a fan, but he's slowly starting to win me over. What's going on guys, it's Mike. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a jersey that I picked up for my personal collection. So, I picked up the RJ Barrett Classic Edition jersey with the autograph authenticated by Fanatics. So if you guys don't know already, I'm a Knicks fan. Um, my dad watched the Knicks and loved the Knicks. He loved Patrick Ewing. So, I essentially learned from him and it was rough. I mean, the Knicks haven't won anything <laughs> since I've been like a fan, but it is what it is. Initially, when the Knicks drafted RJ Barrett, I was not a fan at all. I thought he was a bit of a ball stopper at Duke, but I thought it was exciting to watch him and Zion Williams play together. But when he got drafted to the Knicks, I was like, all right, he's got to show me something. He was a little bit, he has that tendency to kind of hold the ball a little bit too much and force some shots. And the second year, I mean, it kind of slowly grew on me just because he was playing so well and the Knicks made the playoffs. I thought like, hey, we got something going. But this year, just watching the season like unfold, it was very, yeah, sucks. But watching this season, I feel like he's starting to show some more effort and more improvement. So on the defensive side of the ball, which he could work on, I feel like he's actually putting more effort, which I do appreciate. That's all I want is effort. But on the shooting side, he kind of took a step back in efficiency compared to last season. But you know, the numbers went up a little more, a little more usage, but you know, you had Julius Randle just not a leader. But what I'm starting to like is, especially after watching this uh, JJ Redick podcast, um, just the way he interviews throughout the year, I thought he did a really good job. But also, he wants to take steps to being that leader for this young core. So at 21 years old, thinking like that, I'm like, dude, that's all I can ask for to lead a team. So I decided to buy this autographed version of the jersey because I've, he just continues to just build on what he's doing now. He could be an all-star in the future. I personally believe that. Um, I know it's kind of like thick in the East. They got a whole bunch of nice players, but I feel like he'd do that. At 21, he has plenty of time. I especially wanted this jersey just because it's a classic edition jersey. And the NBA this year released three classic edition jerseys for the three franchises. Well, the original franchises. You got the Philadelphia Warriors, Boston Celtics, and the New York Knicks. So since they released it, I had to get it. It's like one of the rarer jerseys, I feel like. I don't know if they'll re-release this in the future. Who knows? But bought it at Fanatics for 262 bucks. There was a sale going on. I think it was like 25 or 30% off. And so taking 30% off original retail, 262, it was a good deal for me. So when you get it at Fanatics, you get this gigantic box. And uh, it's a box within a box, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and take a closer look at the details of this jersey. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys what this autograph looks like. But before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or there's sales or new releases, you don't miss out. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so right here, let's go ahead and open up this box and show you what's inside. Right here, we got the Fanatics box. And when we open it right up, Fanatics wrapping paper. Let's go ahead and, ooh. Right over here, you got the RJ Barrett signature. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this jersey. We're gonna do this one a little different. Right here, we got the front of the jersey. With these classic edition jerseys, they're a tribute to the original franchises. It's like the old throwback jerseys. So right over here, you got the rib material on the collar, sublimated with orange and blue. Beautiful. Same thing on the arm opening as well. And so right over here in the collar area, you can see where the NBA logo is embroidered. So this is the interior look of it. Then you got the information here, Nike, dry fit, large, recycling tags. Retail tags, pretty much your standard stuff. Then we go to the Nike swoosh. So on the classic edition jerseys, they actually have it embroidered and they have the word mark Nike on it. Just look at that. That's dope. And then we got the lettering and numbering. So we got New York across the chest. Just blue heat pressed. 
right through there. Number nine, same thing, heat pressed. No like trim on it, just basic blue on there. And then at the jock tag, it says 75 years in the making for the 71st anniversary. So that's screen printed. You got the jock tag a little different than your normal jock tags. You see there's like a little kind of like beige kind of, oh, it's like off white kind of tint to it instead of it being like silver. So it says Swingman NBA Authentic 48, which is a large Nike and classic edition. And then you can see over here, you get the side splits on the jersey, reinforced stitching right here. But that right there is the front of the jersey. So right here, we got the back of the jersey. Just look at it, RJ Barrett. Let's look at the collar. So the collar right here, you got a two-tone colorway, just like the front, orange and blue. The original Knicks colors. And on this Jerry West logo, uh, the 75th anniversary, you know, you get these, uh, what is that, plastic patches with a diamond embellishment. On the classic edition, they're actually all embroidered. So right over here, you can see NBA Jerry West all embroidered. And it doesn't have your prototypical blue and red that you see on the NBA logo. It's, there's a little darker tint, and it's not white on the Jerry West portion. It's kind of off-white. So it's a little different feature on the classic edition. And then you got RJ Barrett. Same style, you got heat press piece, blue colorway, the number nine, same style as well. But right here, we got the money right here. RJ Barrett, RJB, what an easy signature. And then right down here, you have the Fanatics code. So basically, you would go to the Fanatics authentication site you could scan this QR code and just punch in those numbers to just verify the authenticity, which is a dope touch. Then at the bottom right of the jersey, it says dry fit. But on these jerseys, they are very plain. It is a tribute to the older jerseys in the past. So they don't make too many tweaks to it, except these little patches. And that's pretty much the jersey. Part of me wants to try it on just for the hell of it. The other side is like, no, Michael, don't put it on. You will ruin it somehow which has happened in the past. I've snagged stuff, so let's not do it. Overall, with this year's Classic Edition jerseys, I do like the idea of having it only for the storied franchises for the 75th anniversary, which is dope. I like that the patches are different from the rest of the jersey releases this year. Hopefully this guy becomes a star and this autograph is worth way more than what I paid for. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, thanks again for watching, guys, and on to the next video.